Divers come across all kinds of things, but it's not every day that a prosthetic leg is discovered at the bottom of a lake. Now this fellow's mission was to get the leg back to whoever lost it. Sabila Vargas has details. A diver makes an incredible discovery at the bottom of a lake. It's a prosthetic leg complete with a shoe. You can hear his excitement. Matt Spreitenberg was diving at Lake Natoma outside Sacramento when he came across his unusual find. I knew right away what it was. Why were you so excited about it? Just because I knew that the person lost a leg and they needed it back. He posted this photo on Facebook. Somebody lose a leg? Yesterday's best find. Now we have to find the owner. These things are expensive. In a matter of just hours, Spreitenberg got a message from this woman who had quite a story to tell. A year ago, she and her boyfriend went paddle boarding. They went for a swim, and that's when the prosthetic leg suddenly fell off, shoe and all, and disappeared into the depths of a lake. And here he is, the guy who lost his leg, David Fatta. I was the first one to pop up out of the water, and I popped up out, and I said, holy cow, my leg's gone. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. That's David Fatta paddleboarding back to shore with only one leg. He thought he would never see the $28,000 prosthetic again. It's one of those things in your mind that you just figure, okay, it's gone. We're no longer going to get it. Then when she showed me the picture, I was just like, I just can't believe it because I know that that is my leg. 100%. Now the mission to reunite David with his missing leg. Turns out he lives a ways away from Sacramento in Jacksonville, Texas. So today his girlfriend packed the leg into a suitcase and headed to the airport. I'm just overwhelmed with joy and excitement. As for the diver who discovered his prosthetic? I'd give Matt a great big bear hug and, and thank him and, and say, you want to go have a beer? <laughs> hey, I'm glad I got your leg back to you. David's leg was amputated after a workplace accident. He's been using that prosthesis since 2005.